Hey everyone, welcome to To Pickleball and Beyond. My name is Ryan. My name is Vino. And today we are looking at the Om Aero One. So we have our hands on the first pickleball racket, and I'm not mispronouncing yep. it. The first pickleball racket. And here. that's how it is marketed. Yep. Um, that's out on their site. Um, I think one of the special features about this is it, it has this fluid carbon um, frame. Yep. And we'll put a picture out there. Um, it, it's very interesting. Yeah. It's got a ton of stuff um, and you know you can go online and look yeah, as on well. On their website they have tons the, of good info. Yes, really great info on its specs. We'll put a link, we'll put some descriptions on there. It's a very unique paddle. It's one of the most unique paddles I've ever seen. Yes. and and. Like we both have been playing around with it and trying to get around yeah. how it feels. It's the longest we've used a paddle, I think, to try and figure it out. Yes. It is just very yes. confusing. And and again, it's like, how do you categorize this paddle? Yeah, for me personally, I think it's an all-around paddle. Yeah, yes. That's what I think. And, and, and the reason we say that yep. is because it does the control really well. Yep. And it does the power really well yeah. as well. And we'll, we'll talk about it as we uh, move on. I mean, this is one of those paddles where the swing weight is 109. Yeah. The <laughs> twist weight is seven. The numbers are ridiculous, right? Yeah. And like, you know, uh, everyone goes with this, like, you know, higher the twist, twist weight, the better. Mm -hmm. But at one point, it's going to be, it's too heavy, mm -hmm. right? There is nothing where as it keeps going up, it's only going to get better. It's going to plateau down, right? S but at seven, I just feel like, it's really at that really interesting point. Yeah. So let's do our coverage of it. Yeah. Let's start with control. So starting with the control, again, like you touched on earlier, this paddle is like the most extreme case of like, when you hit the ball soft, it stays soft compared to hitting it hard, not to jump the gun on power. Yep. So it almost took a little getting used to though, hitting my dinks, learning to hit my third shot drops and uh, resets in particular. The one I still struggle with is resets. I think that part, like it really is such a different learning curve yes. than most paddles yes. because it doesn't, it's weird. It feels like it doesn't have a lot of dwell and then sometimes it does. Yes. It changes so much depending upon how fast the ball is coming in as well as how hard you're hitting the ball, which is why I think the control, it'll take you a little to get used to it, but I think it is, it has that consistency to it and it does have a soft feel once you learn to figure it out. Yeah. Super unique. And it's a 14 millimeter. Yep. And usually the thinner you go, you get a lot of feel. You know where it is. Mm -hmm. You really get a lot of feel with this. It's like it's it's giving too much feedback almost. Yeah. And like you're, you're kind of over, cre uh, over like reacting to that yeah. because it's it has this extra stay when you want to. Yeah. It has this extra push when you want to. Yep. Um, I mean, once you got used to it, it was interesting. You did have that um, control, especially in the dink area, yep. right? You, you definitely did. You felt like you can put yeah. it where you wanted. Yep. Because, and this is where I think this was the highlight of this battle for me, and I'll get you to exaggerate on that, elaborate on that, maneuverability. Yeah. At the kitchen yeah. line, this was a beast yeah. as far as I haven't played with a paddle where you can switch around yeah. like no man's business. I was gonna say, um, if, if we had a list for like the most maneuverable paddles, this might be in the one. I'd have to think back at the paddles we've used, but I am so fast at the net with this, it's just ridiculous. I think that's the highlight of <sighs> yes, the Yes, that is the highlight. Like, like if you want something extremely maneuverable. Yeah, if you love getting in hands battles, and right, and oh I think it plays into the handle length yes, too, because yes. it's a shorter handle. Like, yes, it's compared made for to one yes, hand, yes. interestingly enough, considering it's like a racket, yep. but like, it is so fast in your hands, it is just ridiculous. Like it'll really, you'll notice a massive difference compared to your opponents when you're at the kitchen line and hitting your And I've balls. seen a few reviews where they had mentioned if this is even slightly longer where you can put a two hand on yeah. this, this will be crazy. Yeah. Because I, I, I believe it, like if, if you could put a two hander, like you're gonna power through this, like no man's business because it's like moving feather. Yeah but it's impactful. Yeah. And it's 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 a fully covered 3K uh, T700. You can check the specs. So it's it, it feels like a single body. Yeah. But at the same time it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Like let's let's go into um you talked a little bit about transition, talk about transition and power from behind yep. and almost that activation feeling to it. Mind you this is almost like a wide body feel mm -hmm. in the shape. 
yep. not an elongated, yep. right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, gosh, such a unique paddle. In terms of the pop, I could see some people maybe like having different opinions on this again, because it varies yes. on a lot of these shots, but I think I don't, it's, it plays pretty neutral in terms of pop, I would yep. say. Mm -hmm. It like it has some to it, gets outshined by numerous paddles, but it beats out your typical control paddle. It yes. Definitely is more pop than a lot of control paddles. But where it, and, yeah, and let me just add a sentence to that. Like when you have too much pop, yeah, sometimes it's hard to control. Yep. When you have too little, mm -hmm. you can't get onto the speed. Yep. You can't but hit a good speed up or you can flick. Because you can flick this really fast, yep. you can generate that down. Yep. Yep. But at the same time, I feel like if someone like hits like so I was playing with this yesterday or day before, I believe, and someone was really hammering at me, yeah. and I felt like for a 14 millimeter. It, it absorbs, oh, it, it. Yeah, exactly, it absorbs right? it well then. Exactly. When, it, the, when the ball's coming harder at you, it dwells longer. Uh, it yes. stays on there. It's exactly. Like, it's so which, weird. Which it's like, it's mind blowing because that, that's that sensation you do get at a 16 meter, millimeter or higher, right? Yep. So I totally am with you on that. Yep. Yep. So that was the pop. Yes. You're going into the full raw generated power. So yeah, pop was like middle of the yes. road. But then when you're doing a full swing on it, it actually has a lot of power here, Yes. Which is that, interesting. That you feel it's not there. Yep. It, it feels like, like it shouldn't be it there. It shouldn't be there and then it just yeah. whacks through it. Get yeah. what I mean? Um, so very interesting. It's, I would say this is one of those paddles you have to try. You have to put it in your yeah. hands and try it and that's, you know, get a feel for it. Can't compare it to anything You else. can't. There is it's, nothing. It's very unique. You hit the nail on the head. Spin. So the spin was one I was hoping for a little more. It seemed like you mentioned yourself, and I noticed this too, once in a while it would really catch and then really get the revolutions going. But on your average, like at the kitchen, I was doing some some slices on the balls or even from further back, and I was like, oh, I wanted a little more out of it. So yeah. usually I was wishing for a little more, but once in a while, if it really caught the ball, it could it could turn it. It's, it's, I think it's one of those paddles you really need to give it time. Mm -hmm. As far as adaptability goes, the first time you play with it, you know, you're like a pro and you know you might just take and play with it. but if you're a regular player yeah. you really need to give it some time yeah it's like it's like a fountain pen almost you yeah. have to feel it you have to activate it kind yeah. of make it your own play around with it but hell this is one unique paddle it is. i mean i was talking to the uh, founder as well um, he comes from a cricket background so i was geeking out with him about that as well and you know some of his background and so i think they have really taken engineering to the next level um, you know, and I'm, I'm excited to see other paddles that they put out. Yeah. Because that's going to be very interesting, but this is definitely unique. Hey everyone, super excited to announce we're actually going to be giving one of these pickleball rackets away. In order to win, you'll have to make sure you drop a like on this video, be an active subscriber, and then leaving a comment with how many times me and Vino called this pickleball racket a paddle on accident within this review. So make sure to drop that comment and we'll announce the winner on our website. So again, um, we enjoyed playing with this paddle. You want to try it out, please reach out to us. You definitely need to hit with it to kind of experience this very different pickleball racket. Um, I mean, um, so please reach out to us. Um, please subscribe, please comment. We love growing this channel and helping you with um, more reviews and more paddle information. And as we grow, we want to be able to do way more giveaways as well. Um, thank you and hope to see you in another paddle review.